I don't yeah, think kids Republican are politicians, for the most part, care about this stuff. I also don't think they care about the consequences of pushing down that road. Meaning that if this is just step one to ten years from now, like police doing mass roundups and executions of trans people, <laughs> I don't think Republican <laughs> politicians... Does he think that? Like, is that a fuck? meme or is that something he's... <laughs> Rax, no, have you seen this before? Gonna... Well, he, no, he I is... haven't seen this sort of thing. I'm not like a, I'm not super big <laughs> political dog, man. He's, I... he's he's serious, but he, I mean, he admits he engages in gross hyperbole, his own words. So, oh, okay, that's gross hyperbole. I I hope the people I, who hear that, that know it's gross hyperbole. Because I'm like, man, I guess if yeah, because I, I don't know if I don't know how crazy he because I've heard he, I he hear all the crazy stuff, but. When I don't think it's hyperbole. I, I mean, maybe this is a spoiler, but like he's repeated these statements like so many times in so many ways, like to pretend it's hyperbole. I mean, it's not being taken as hyperbole if it is, right? Right. I might have to get really the Tim Pool. About that sort of thing. I might have to get the Tim Pool beanie out here. I feel, I feel like we're drifting towards <laughs> the civil Tim War. Pool civil war here. Well, he spends the majority of the debate uh, with the guy that we're going to watch, just comparing, saying that basically the Republicans are going to become the Nazi Party if they control all houses of government in the next election. So I, if he's speaking hyperbically, he, he's being consistent. If he's with speaking it. what? Hyperbically. <laughs> okay. Hyperbolically. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Right. would care. They will lead all the way down that road and back. I do not think they care that much. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Like maybe they don't care enough to do it. Like I mean, it, that seems more like well, they just actually don't care that much. Well, That's what's even weird too. Cause he's saying like they, was the Republicans are going to accidentally round up gay people? Like, what? Like, or they're just going to do it? They're, they're, they don't care about it yet. They're going to expend all this energy to, you know, put the gay people in camps or something. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Well, do like we, are the, we, I guess the implication is the the semi apathy of step one is going to eventually turn into full blown, like, hatred and concentration. Well, camps okay. And... Here, here, here's a serious question because I, I don't know the answer to this. Would he just would he consider legislation that would like block trans kids from transitioning as a genocide? Because yes. he might. Any any single piece of legislation that does anything regarding trans people that isn't like completely one hundred percent reaffirming them is uh, genocidal to him. Jeez. Okay. Down. Well, then, <laughs> I mean that 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 might clear up the confusion, right? Because like, well, no, when he, I think he, of a genocide. Said, that's not what I think. I'm he he out, said he's round up, didn't he? Specifically. Wait. And executions of trans like people. I don't think the consequences of pushing down that road. Meaning that if this is just step one to 10 years from now, like police doing mass roundups and executions of trans people. Okay, so he says specifically mass roundups and executions. What this implies is that there are meetings of police officers and SWAT teams who are sitting in a meeting and one of them has the big whiteboard and he's telling him <laughs> this is what a trans person looks like. And he cuts through all the slides. Yeah. This is how you can tell. We, we've got all the people with picker avatars from Twitter. <laughs> we've got yes. their addresses. <laughs> Let's go get them. Well, and, and Doomer, like, to my knowledge, there's only one state that tried to enact what you're talking about. They tried to say no kids are allowed to transition. It was Texas. And Fosh never brings that example up, even though it would be his, technically it would be his strongest example, though I guess it would also be undermined because a Texas state court blocked it on the grounds that it's probably going to be unconstitutional. So, well, that that's probably why he doesn't bring it up. Yeah, I guess. But that so, but that's the problem with this conversation. He never brings up the specific legislation he's talking about. That's like the one step away from enacting the LGBT genocide. I think right well, now the legislation they're bringing up is, I think, in Florida, they're trying to remove trans people from the ability to do like Medicaid type stuff. Oh, okay. Is that uh, I don't know if he knows that example or not, but yeah. Well, I mean it. it like, it's a problem if you think that he's trying to make a persuasive argument to a neutral and biased observer, but I don't think that's ever what he's trying to yeah, do, it's really. Not, it's preaching I think to he, an extremist audience now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Seems that way with this kind of genocide talk. You generally want to lead up to that. Yeah, well, Ooh. I don't know. You I don't, don't want to go up there. That's just jump the in. joke, is that you don't. Is that you, 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 you don't. Yeah, jo joke, sure, Rags. Yeah. I don't oh, think yeah, Republican right, politicians right. would care. <laughs> they will lead all the way down that road and back. I do not think they care that much. Uh, it doesn't really matter the degree of sincerity they have on this issue um, oh. because this kindergarten to third grade thing is only a stepping stone to any elementary or middle school, to any schooling or public institution at all. I don't know. I I don't know. That that's that doesn't seem like some crazy and reasonable thing to say to to make distinctions between younger kids and older kids. You know. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I, I think Tra- a lot of transitioning. People, yeah, yeah, of like, course. It, it, yeah, really you many issues. Yeah, I, I don't think that it's necessarily a it, to jump to. Oh, this is just their stepping stone to the whole kit and caboodle. Is I don't know. There's. I think that both sides and pretty much everyone well, can agree that there that is some sense. line in between the young and the old that we could sort of put some line on somewhere. I, I, I think it, I think it's reasonable to do so. I think the only thing is that if we're talking about a line that should be put there, um, they, then the line should, I feel like the line should just be decided medically. I don't like the idea of like state legislators trying to figure this out. Like why? Why not just leave it up to hospitals? Uh, like it feels like a conversation to have between like a doctor, a patient, and then like a child if they're involved. And that should be okay. it. Mm-hmm. Do you, how do you feel though about there being sort of ideological capture around the therapeutic industry and the medical industry around trans issues. Like there really aren't unbiased doctors. The doctors that are in this space are really political actors. Um, I mean, yeah, that could be a case, but then you fix the political institution. You don't bring in another political institution to regulate it, right? Because political capture obviously describes our political system too, right? Like sure. because doctors might be political, the state legislature is going to make these decisions. Um, and then also, even if there is some amount of political capture, I would still want the right as a parent to make these choices, irregardless of some state legislature. Like if there's a decision that needs to be made medically between me and my child and a doctor, I don't want DeSantis standing in between me and my doctor, and my child's health. Like I just, I would never, ever, ever imagine um, any parent would want to have to deal with that. But but if you had, let's say you had Christian conservatives pitching affirmation care as like a way to deal with homosexuality, obviously we would jump in and say, no, that's wrong, <laughs> right? I mean, well, Sitch, well, Sitch wouldn't, but <laughs> what? <laughs> I just, I just, you're, you're echo, you were just echoing a little bit there. Um, I just feel like I, mean, if, I think that once you hit like certain levels of like evidence for things, I think it's okay to say that this is something that um, like it. shouldn't be done anymore. So like, let's say that it was the case that we were a bit further along in the future and we were to see that like, hey, like these types of trans healthcare things don't actually help. Um, then, then yeah, we would say like, okay, well maybe this isn't something that should be, you know, recommended for. Um, people, but I would still hope it would come from the medical institutions and not like legislatively. But right. well, this the state does. I mean, medical licensing boards and stuff like that. They're somewhat state regulated, right? I mean, sooner or later, the state gets involved. Um, does the state get involved in approving medical? Tra- I guess you could argue like the FDA kind of. Sure, that's does. a state um, organization as well. But still, the FDA consumer runs, protection like, agency is a. Yeah, but these things run kind of independently. Like you, you might nominate like a head, but it's not like we're taking votes in the Senate to decide yeah, state what the FDA. Right. Yeah. Well, I think you go to the and, consumer protection agency if you, and and this is with any operation. If you have an operation that you don't get informed consent on you know you got a doctor Uh that's just like oh this is going to change your life it's going to be great and it turns out to be terrible uh then you would go to the consumer protection agency i believe to say listen i didn't get informed consent i'm suing this doctor yeah would it medical would it be easier to get yeah from from a doctor especially because hospitals in that whole field is probably very very they're used to having those kinds of considerations maybe more so than the government would it be easier to get that kind of restitution in whatever form it is from a hospital or a medical organization than it would be from something that maybe the government has more fingers in this this is why i think the informed consent is where this battle is really going to be fought and i think this is why so many of the trans doctors are ideologically captured because i don't i don't i think like sensible surgeons probably see this coming down the road and they just mm-hmm. it's like a nightmare for them I, I i don't how do you give someone informed consent when there's such little research on something like this i just think a lot of legal wrangling <clears throat> is going to be coming down the line in the near future i mean you i mean you can tell people that like stuff is experimental right i think wasn't that something that trump actually legalized i thought people i thought conservatives praised him for it i think trump made it so that if you were facing like life or death circumstances you had an easier time accessing experimental medication right um i mean like what is the informed consent around that you know like well i Mm -hmm. guess that's part of the case Uh, Mm -hmm. well that's the case that they're making in trans issues they're definitely saying you know your your son or daughter is suicidal therefore they are somewhat in a terminally ill situation and therefore promoting. Yeah, I think we, the left needs to get away from that shit because it's cancerous to 
conversations that the constant, like they're all going to kill themselves if we don't approve everything right now. This has to be the case or they're all killing. They're all suicide. Like that, the left needs to move away from that messaging because it's I really agree, toxic. To, I totally yeah, agree. But I don't, I don't think to. They, they can't though, because that's kind of the medical justification for everything that follows. The medical because, justification doesn't have to be you're going to fucking kill yourself, right? Like giving well, children amphetamines is relatively controversial, but like ADHD doesn't make people commit suicide, right? Right. But if like to my not, I think the puberty blockers and a lot of the cross sex hormones and a lot of this stuff is still, you know, it's not FDA approved. It's all off label. And the justification for it is like, well, it's better than death. And as long as that's the criteria, it makes it very easy for. Any yeah, of I mean, stuff if people, to be justified you don't want medically. them to die, do you? If people right. are saying that, I would disagree with that, but it doesn't have to just be death. There's a lot of other markers we can look at for like improved quality of life sure. um, that are going to be important as well, I think. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. It would be better if they moved away from it. I just, mm -hmm. I don't think they will because I think it, it serves too much. It, it benefits the medical conversation too much to justify what's kind of going on unquestioningly. To, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 the um, Speak Up Anti-Grooming Act, where you, they establish a hotline to um, inform the state if a parent is found to be queer in any way, shape, or form, uh, because there's a higher risk, according to their data, um, of abuse to their children. Uh, is, is that true? No, no, no. He's, he's saying there's he's oh, it's predicting okay. there's going to be... Uh... Narking on people for being gay or queer, essentially. My, my bad, that just sounded pretty well. Um, and then the police show up and, you know, and it goes and it goes and it goes. So, yeah, um, that's why they're focusing on it. It has nothing to do with harm reduction. It has nothing to do with protecting kids. Republican politicians love raping kids. That's like one of their top things next to cutting taxes. Uh, they're hugely in favor of it. Well, you're laughing, so that obviously seems like hyperbole, right? Well, I mean, it's well known, you know, Republicans are in favor of raping kids, right? <laughs> you know, I, just, I think it's funny that Vosh does everything in this video that he accuses Republicans of doing. Like he basically says all Republicans <laughs> do is scare. Kids? Well, it isn't, isn't Vosh the embodiment of it's OK when we do it? I guess so. I mean, yeah. Doomer. Yeah. To keep in mind for a lot of these people, um, I say on the left, but it's true on the right as well. When it comes to politics, people will lay out like a set of principles that they believe in. Like we should do this or we shouldn't treat people like this. But when they look at their opponents, they view their enemies, their ideological enemies as actually being evil. Yes. So like those same rules don't apply, you know, like obviously we should treat people with respect, blah, 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 but this person is but engaged in an evil, action yeah. that is actually like an aggressive attack against me. So therefore I can act in this manner, you know? Yeah. yeah don't get done calling people evil. Right. No, but that's, I mean, that's the Doomer, classic, What are you, you know, talking about? <laughs> Unironically <laughs> evil, maybe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Guilty. Uh, it Special is it's, cases. It's just the, yeah. The, the, yeah. Just... Doomer is the author of the famously of the Vosh is unironically evil video. So that's why that's. Funny. <laughs> I've heard of that. Yeah, I've heard of that video. Yeah. Okay, so it's a great. That video. was just. So now we'll move on to. The oh wait, next... is that? Are you the Doomer? Are you that Doomer? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm not the Doomer. Doomer yes. Oh, I'm surprised you didn't know that. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I don't know. Different Doomer. Before. Did you cover oh, that okay. video, Destiny? Yeah, it's we a, watched it's the a, fucking thing. Of it's course. a great video. Yeah, Vosh <laughs> totally lost his shit over it. And then I thought you were a different stoat. <laughs> well, he wasn't a stoat back then. He was the Wojak Doomer. So yes, no, but yes. And then he was like, you know, I really want Vosh to hate me, so I'm gonna put a monocle in my avatar. <laughs> Just to convince Vosh everyone. Against, against this, was, this was a Is top troll. Deep, this was a top deep troll. lore I'm not aware of? Well, it, you know, it makes him a rich bougie. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, oh, there, yeah, was, yeah. There, there was a bunch of cringe Twitter drama you don't need to get into, but everybody was calling me an elitist when I'm like a fucking 99th percentile economic left sock them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was like, fuck it, lean into it. <laughs> Put Miss, a monocle on my the, uh, You missed the opportunity to give yourself the little, you know, the, the big, long Cruella DeVille cigarette holder thing? You need to have one of those <laughs> to really go all the way. I only associate those with Cruella DeVille. I don't know what they're really called. C CT, get on it. He would have to go with the 16 by 9 avatar. Yeah. <laughs> you know her lighter is like a little dragon, right? They went they went full evil with her. I can I'll call Cruella DeVille evil. I, I will I will take that leap. Wow, what I very bold. What, 
what I meant was Vosh is definitely scaring his voters to the polls in the same way that they always accuse Republicans of. Republicans are just fear mongers. They just want to scare you to the polls. That's all they care about, all this manufactured outrage. When Vosh is basically saying here, they're going to round you all up and execute you. That's, mm -hmm. How is that any different? I mean, that's kind of that's like politics 101 these days, right? It's like everything is genocidal. Everything is an existential threat. Everything is on the verge of like killing and destroying everybody. Like that's just. Yes, but I don't like that. I don't no, yeah, it's like really bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. But. How do you have a conversation with someone when they are basically accusing you of being a mass murderer before you even well, talk you, to you're a them? Demon you can't, hell, but that's that's evil. the point. That's the point is that you can't like it, it self selects in people who are just but, completely unwilling to have conversations with people let's who label with and them. dismiss you know if we label them as a thing we don't have to talk to them we don't have to engage with them because we've already labeled and defined them as being this thing that can't be reasoned with and they're evil mm -hmm.